Hello YouTube. Today I'm doing a short story on the Black Hand in Lawrence County, Pennsylvania. And I want to give a shout out to Lawrence County Historical Society that were so gracious enough to help me and let me look through the file of the Black Hand. So, let's begin with the story. In 1900, there was a great wave of immigration from Europe. Recruiters for various industries frequently went to Ellis Island to find laborers. Some Italian immigrants with skill in stone quarrying were brought to the Hillsville, Lawrence County area, where the limestone operations were said to be the most extensive in the world at the time. With this, there also came, with the decent, hard-working men, the criminal element, In their homeland, they had been a part of a society of honor, stressing loyalty and strict secrecy and obedience to their leaders, but exhibiting cruelty and ruthlessness in their dealings. In America, the society, the society had been given the name of the Black Hand because those reluctant to comply with society demands were worn by means of the imprint of a Black Hand. <sighs> In Hillsville, Pennsylvania, members of the Italian community were forced to pay a portion of their wages to the Black Hand. Those who refused to pay found themselves and their families subject to harassment, beatings, and sometimes even death. Many lived in constant fear. The Black Hand offered an assassination school for those who swore loyalty to their society. John Jatty directed the nearest assassination school in Youngstown, Ohio. On February 1907, Seely Houck, Seely Houck was the game warden, came across two Italian immigrants illegally shooting birds. He quarreled with the immigrants, then shot their dog which belonged to reputed headman Rocco Racco. Two weeks later, Seely Hawk's corpse was found in the Mahoning River. Hawk had been shot and his body weighed down with stones. The suspects were Rocco and his companion Jim Merdosi. The brutal murder of Squire Duff now I'm going to put this picture up here. It was in the file, but it did not say that this was Squire Duff, but I believe that this is who this is. So, that possibly could be Squire Duff right there. He was an 80-year-old farmer and was the second event that led to the downfall of Black Hand. Upon learning of Duff's murder, the district attorney, Charles Young, and Sheriff John Waddington hired Italian agents of the Pinkerton Detective Agency to infiltrate the society. During months of undercover operations, the agents gathered evidence and learned the identity of the Black Hand's members. On July 13, 1907, an unusual raid took place, resulting in 22 members being apprehended and hustled to Newcastle, Pennsylvania, and the county jail. Some witnesses were intimidated to silence, but others refused to be intimidated. The principal witness against the offenders was a fellow Italian and victim of extortion and harassment, Nick Sirigelli. Sirigelli, I'm sorry if I say these names wrong. He was termed to be the bravest man in Lawrence County. He provided key testimony despite dire threats. Fifteen of the 22 defendants were given from two to ten years in the penitentiary, while several boys between the ages of 15 and 18 were given suspended sentences. Meanwhile, those accused of the Hawk Duff murders had been apprehended and were brought to trial and convicted. Rocco Racco, 
received the death penalty during his trial he revealed that the black hand was the mafia in fact there were additional arrests and a total of 50 trials before the power of a black hand was considered eliminated the most happy and relieved were the members of the Italian community there were many other Italian immigrants who came to Newcastle and Elwood City, Pennsylvania, and other parts of the county to work. Today, Lawrence County has the highest concentration of Italian American Italian Americans of any county in Pennsylvania. Over half of the citizens are at least part Italian and hold many prominent jobs in the community and county. So there you have it, folks. There's a quick story of the Black Hand in Hillsville, Pennsylvania. So, if you watch this video, I greatly appreciate it. And as time goes on, hopefully my videos will get better as I'm learning. Still learning this uh, taping thing here. But I hope everyone stays safe and well. And thank you for watching. And again, a shout out to... The Lawrence County Historical Society for their help. Stay safe, everyone.